Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fabulous on this Monday or whatever day you're watching this. My name is Stephanie, if you guys are new here. I'm a new UX UI designer showing you guys what it's like to be a designer, what I get up to in a work week, as well as like some lifestyle content things. So if that interests you, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the things, join the family. And yeah, with that, let's get into today's video. So today's video, we are going to go through one of my portfolio case study projects. And I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scene of how I created it. But we're also gonna be using chat GPT to also help create your case study a little bit quicker. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. And I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you probably already know what chat GPT is. And if you don't, let me give you a little blurb. So I'm just gonna read the official definition that ChatGPT gives you. And it says ChatGPT is an AI language model developed by OpenAI, which is capable of generating human-like text based on the input that is given. So pretty much it's like AI generated answers to anything. It's like asking Google, but on crack, kind of, you know? So it can create all kinds of crazy I've seen so many crazy things that it can do. It can create a malware for you, which is scary. It can, people have been using it for homework, like students have been using it for essays. Don't recommend that. You can use it to create articles and blogs and literally anything it can probably do. Like in, I think my boyfriend has used it. To example, generating like code. How would I code this? I don't know exactly guys, but it's really, really powerful. And today we're gonna use these powers for good and we're gonna use it to help us craft our case study. The case study I'm gonna show you is one that I did in my bootcamp through Springboard. And okay, so this one was one of the projects and we used the Google Venture Design Sprint, but we did it in a modified version. What that means is that it's a five day structure, like literally one through five, it helps designers and developers come up with ideas quickly. So every single day there is a task that needs to get accomplished and you pretty much have this whole week, this five day span to create the concept idea and then implement final product. Sounds crazy, but that's the whole point of this Google Ventures Design Sprint is to create ideas quickly. So that's what this case study is modeled around. That's how I created it. Now, obviously this was modified a little bit because it was me on a team of one, but just wanted to give you some background before we jump onto my computer. And what we're going to do is I've already have this case study built out, obviously, but I'm going to go in and try to edit and modify based on what chat GPT thinks. So I'm going to give it prompts and see if it can improve what I wrote. So with that, let's get in. Okay guys, this is the case study and they gave us like 10 or so different prompts and you got to pick one idea. And this one is a fake company called House to Home. And as you can see, it's an e-commerce startup that makes decorating your home easy and affordable. And I went with that because, you know, interior design background here, I was like, hmm, okay, let me do this one. So I'm just gonna quickly scroll through this because we're gonna edit some of this with chat gpt so i just want to show you guys the kind of overall layout the five day sprint and then it's broken down into these different segments so day one do, do, do. day two three four and i will go over these in detail but i just want you guys to get a quick overview of what was done and we'll get into editing Okay, so this is the draft of me editing this case study. And as you can see, like all of this can be changed. This background image can be changed, this blur, but we're gonna leave that alone right now. So the problem was these users are looking to buy items to personalize their space, but they don't know where to start. And you know, I won't read this word for word. You guys can read that. And so this is the solution that we are going to be trying to create. We're trying to create like a kit for them um, to be able to select what they need. And we're going to do that with a quiz, like a style quiz. So this is my role. These are the design constraints. Simple enough there. Guys, <laughs> looking back at this, I'm like, why did I think this was good? Not that it's bad, but there's already certain things now that I've been, you know, being a designer for so many months that I'm like, oh, I would change some of that, but that's not the point of this today. How I want to use ChatGPT. Okay, so this paragraph here, 
this is this understanding paragraph. The first day was all about familiarizing myself with the company. I studied the research, user flows, blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to take this, copy that, and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to say rewrite this. To sound more technical. Let's say that. And then I'll just paste in what I wrote. And then it's going to think, think, think and generate something for me. Okay. okay, this is what it gave me, this is what it's spinning out. I won't have to read all this for you guys, but do you already see how that kind of sounds more professional and like buttoned up than what I had? What I had wasn't bad, but it was very conversational, I would say. So I like this better, and I'm gonna copy that. Thanks, chat GPT. And we're going to go here. I'm going to delete that and then paste this in. I'm not going to worry about like bolding the different things, but there we go. Okay, let's take a look at this persona here. We have Chelsea, 24, lives in New York City. These are her pain points. What I'm going to do, do you see how like I don't have a bio written here, but I'm going to ask chat GPT to create a bio for this person. So let me, let's pop over here. They create, what's it, right? a bio for Chelsea and she is 24 lives in NYC and we'll go over here who has these pain points we're gonna say who has these pain points when it comes to designing Actually, not designing. When it comes to decorating her home, and has these needs. Okay, so this looks kind of crazy, but we're just gonna see what it spits out. We're gonna just see. We're gonna test it together, guys. Okay, write a bio for Chelsea, 24, lives in New York, has these pain points when it comes to decorating for her home. And we can kind of clean this up. I'm hoping it's smart enough to parse through this layout. Okay, let's see the magic happen. Okay, okay. Okay, so do you see that it's literally pulling some of the phrases that I put in? So let's say, need to stick to a budget. It says, need to stay within budget. Uncertainty about the compatibility of decor items. Not sure if all the pieces look good together. Like it's writing it in a way that's a little bit more elevated than what I put in. What I put in is totally fine and I think it works. But if you're just wanting to rewrite it a little bit, this is a great way to do that. So I'm not going to change it here just because it's kind of the way that it's laid out. but. If I wanted to add a bio, I would 100% like snatch this one and put it there. Okay, so something that I didn't do in this one just because all of the research questions were already given to us before we started this Google Venture Sprint, but if it wasn't given to me, I would also use ChatGPT, like there's a little bit of an interview script here. I would use that to develop some interview questions. So let's go see what it gives us. Okay, let's ask, generate 10 survey questions about shopping for home decor. The first, let's say three questions should be demographic questions. Okay. It's almost like waiting for like a genie to give you the answer. Okay, now look at these questions. They're pretty generic, so you can definitely tailor these a little bit more for what you're needing, but it gives you a good base. It gives you like a really good base to start off with, especially if you're not used to generating questions and you know, I need this too to kind of help me generate as well. So this is a great, great place to start. Okay, let me click through this prototype for you guys. Why not? Let's full screen it. Okay, 
you are gonna hit here and then find your design style start the quiz I'm gonna fly through this guys you don't really not crucial to what I'm talking about but it's kind of fun to look through I forget what the hot spots were so I'm gonna have to rely on this okay pick your favorite rooms I need how many items okay I'm gonna customize I'm gonna pick that one okay it's coming back to me now yeah so a very simple simple experience as you can see this is not super detailed and a lot of this is components based so but yeah that is what I came up with guys. there is so much that this can do I just looked up a few articles just so I had some ideas so I prepping while filming this and apparently it can you can ask it to make a wireframe for a journaling map for a journaling app let me go do that right now let me see let me let me see because guys, I feel like there'll be a lot more videos about chat GPT on my channel and how it relates to UX and all kinds of things. Cause I feel like I just, I barely, barely scratched the surface. So if you guys are interested, I can definitely make more about these. Let me go ask it this question really quick. Hold. Okay, so it's telling me that I put in the prompt to make a wireframe for a journaling app because I saw it somewhere online. And it says, I'm a language model. I don't have the capability to create visual wireframes, but I can suggest the elements that you can include. So it's telling me landing page, dashboard, entry creation page, entry viewing page. Um, so like create new journal entries, view new journal entries, profile settings, reminders. Yeah, I mean, for not being visual, that's pretty good search results, so. Powerful guys, it's powerful. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. It was very quick, very, not rough, but I'm not an expert in chat GPT. I'm not an expert in writing UX case studies. I just wanted to show you guys one of my portfolio projects, what I did and how I would tweak it if I was submitting something new or just wanted to make changes, or if you guys are just starting to create a case study. I think chat GPT is a great baseline for just getting started. Like if you need, if you even need like an idea of like what to make a case study about. I've seen things like write a button copy that will help undecided shoppers make a purchase. There's so much that you can do with it within reason, like don't go crazy. There's so much that you can do with it to just help you get started, help brainstorm, get thoughts going. But these tools are amazing and AI is probably gonna take over the world. And it's gonna be a little scary, but you yourself have to still have that designer bone. You have to, have that in you for these tools to really help you because yeah you might be able to like skate through on all these chat gpt answers but when you're actually in the job when you're actually in the field it can't design for you it can't necessarily think for you so you still want to you know rely on your design prowess but definitely use the tools that are available to just help you out make your life a little bit easier why not these tools are here let's use them in a responsible ethical way yeah, so I really hope you guys like this video. I love showing you guys like my projects and my case studies because I can't show you guys like what I actually work on at work, but it's kind of fun to show you the things that I have done. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Let me know if you guys have any questions. How do you guys like to use ChatGPT in UX? Like, let me know. I'm always curious to see like what kind of prompts people are asking it and what results are getting. So yeah, let's keep the discussion open. Um, I talked really fast right there. Okay, and with that, guys, I will see you in the next video.